Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 27 of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we had just finished talking to uh, Manny here about, you know, the guys who killed me. But we're going to do a little goodwill thing and rescue captives that the Legion took. They are powder gangers, sure, but, you know, they deserve freedom to right their wrongs, and if they don't, I'll kill them then. How's that sound? <laughs> okay. Head to the world map, and they're over here by Wolfhorn Ranch. So we're gonna head that way. Ah, need a drink. One moment. Alright, there we go. A little sick over here, so forgive me if I'm a little sniffly and whatnot. Oh, I can pick up maize here. Cool. It's always nice to have. I'm not sure where all the spots are, because there's some of them green that's not letting me pick them. There we go. I guess I gotta look for the big old bit of corn, huh? That helps a little bit. Hmm. Now we'll just head this way. And we'll use up the remainder of the ammo for the uh, 10 millimeter pistol. Because we don't really need the 10 millimeter as much, you know, as, you know, the early game would need it. In real life, it is a decent round, but in game, not so much. What the hell's bells? Huh. Uh, I think I traveled this way before. This is one of the bodies of the Legionnaires attacking the uh, caravan. That's right. Now I remember. So they were over here all this time, and I could have just dealt with it then. God damn it. I'm dumb. I'm a dumb. That is what I am right now. Right now, that's what I am half the time. Alright, considering our last encounter with Legion, I'm kind of loath to do this. Power Ganger's able to stand up. What the hell? Uh, let's see. What they have in the toolbox, at least. Ooh. Stuff I want. Oh, I'm a little burpy now because of my soda. Um, a little jittery. Away. True to Kaiser. True to Kaiser. You have a submachine gun for the 10 millimeter. You would be useful to me. Most don't have ranged weapons or technology. Uh, well, they do have ranged weapons if they're good, but. They don't really have sort of technological advances like that, so that is unusual, and I think I'm gonna kill you first. Oh. And come on. Take your head off. I guess not, okay. Gonna make sure I'm able to kill him first. There we go. Take that. Take those. And good. And this guy. He's the only one left. Okay. Yeah, this is not going well. I'm trying to pick up this guy. Now I did. Alright. Uh, take those. I like the handles they have on the machetes. Because it's actually a good handle if you're looking for fencing. But it's not really as good when you're looking for chopping. So it's kind of a weird oversight on their part. But at the same time, it is kind of cool that they're at least thinking about good design when it comes to weapons. I don't care if I've lost karma. It's Legion. Fuck Legion. And these guys are probably asleep in this tent here. Yep, that is exactly what they're doing. 
then going to take your head. If I can hit it. Oh, the head's crippled. Yeah. Okay, let's. That's a veteran legionary. So he's used to this punishment. Okay, you wanna fight with swords? Let's fight with you swords. Like that? Oh, now you're gonna run away, huh? You're not allowed to run away from this. Fucking veteran bitch. Oops, overcorrected. Okay, actually, we're gonna do this. There we go. Now you're down, and... <laughs> you're just sitting there like a bitch. Oh, man. Last bullet. There we go. Okay, then. That actually went pretty well. I mean, yes, they were basically, you know, recruits that didn't know anything, you know, in the ways of defense, most of them. The veteran should have been able to defend them somewhat, and he was just shit. Throwing spears? Fucking really? Veteran armor? That doesn't sell for much. I do need some more leather armor. Oh, campfire. Uh, gecko steaks. Awesome. Need more of those. Ran through a lot of them in that one fight. But, uh, that was actually pretty good. Overall, give that a 7 out of 10. Been greater if I didn't take any damage, but hey. You know, can't be choosers on how I win a battle. Buy it'll. I went freaking Bostonian there for a second. Or something, I don't know. Never claimed I was bright. Leave me alone. Uh, yeah, I already went through those. Stim packs worn off. Oh, now you're sitting down. Okay. And that's a lottery ticket. Untie him. And untie him. There we go. Booted. If y'all fuck up again, I will kill you, you hear? Alright. Let's take what's in here. Oh, excuse me, I am burpy. Coca-Cola is good, but I'll take all these because I can sell those. And I can eventually use, you know, just random pistols for jury rigging. But until then, it's just kind of useless carrying them. Especially when they're just, you know, excess weight at that point. Um, there's something over here. Mole rat. This was actually an early game enemy in Fallout 3. Not so much here. And... There we go. They were really not that difficult. To be perfectly honest. They were pretty much like that. Um, I think that's a different town there. Or maybe that's... Is that? No. I'm in a completely different direction. That must be searchlight. And that is irradiated to shit, so we're not going over there. Uh, take these. And we'll head to this... Who is this? Prospector. Uh... I think this is a cave here. Why am I in water? Why did I walk into water? I'm a dumbass. Uh, this must be Brock Flower Cave. Okay. Okay. This is actually a good learning experience. So we're going to go in there. Right now. Yes, right now. I said it. Right now. Uh, would be happier if we had more armor. But, you know, I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, what I am going to do is take some rat away. And I'll deal with the... That's a hollowed out rock. And it doesn't have much. 
22 caliber rounds, huh? Something. Yeah, this is Brock Flower Cave. There's absolutely no way to mistake it. I just... Where's the entrance? Let's be over here. Yeah, it's right here. Cool. Now there's a uh, specific special weapon in here that you can pick up before you uh, outgrow it. That I do actually want to pick up, so we're going to do that. But uh, with the Wild Wasteland perk installed, well, not installed, more like being used, it does make a specific enemy show up. There's Wild Wasteland going. And it makes the normal rats show up. Gives a, uh, I believe it's a Monty Python reference. I don't remember this off the top of my head. But uh, it does reference it in some way when I find a enemy you will know I'm not even close to one right now what am I doing a uh, bunch of barrels uh, let's turn on my light because this is a little dark and there's nothing over here nothing useful over here why did I come over here I don't even know giant freaking moron. Go over here then. And we'll go up. Oh, yeah, this is what I was doing. What I will be doing is popping a rat X. That'd be good. It makes the rats here rodent of unusual size. I believe that's a Monty Python rec reference. B correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh... And they are pretty badass. Oh, jeez. That one's going to kill me. I do not kill it first. And I failed to do that. Okay. That was close. Um, just got to be on the lookout for more. I believe it's the barrels causing the radiation. Okay. That was a thing. And pop off the head. Okay, cool. And there should be one more around here. Yeah, another rodent of unusual size. It's on the table right now. Whoa. Who <laughs> ran quickly? Come on. We'll use up the majority of the ammo that I have for this, but uh, danger, there's no rodents up here, oh, behind me, okay, that must be my, uh, my leather armor took a bit of a hit, but uh, surgical tubing, cool, a bunch of stim packs, uh, cool. Okay, medical brace. There is this weapon right here, the Rat Slayer, which is an upgraded varmint rifle, basically. It is the best varmint rifle you can get. If I can find it, there it is. Put this over here, because... No. There. Put Katana there. And you'll see why it's great in a second. See? It has a night scope on it. A specifically made night scope for this. And as you can see here, pretty damn beast against rats. And it's also silenced, so it's not going to be uh, detected easily. Well, unless when you hit headshots, it isn't. There's no room here. Pop that head. And pop this head. And pop. 
this head. Let's do a real quick spot shot. There we go. And it has full upgraded magazine, full upgraded silencer, and everything. And there we go. That is basically a walkthrough of how to get the Rat Slayer. And that is what this episode will probably be called. Uh, level 10. I can get a new perk now. But what I'm going to do right now is make a bit and work on my lock pick a bit too. And the other five points, I'll put two here, two here, and hmm, I'll put one on science. That's what I think I'm going to do. And let's see what the lower ones it has. Um, here and now gives you an additional level, but it's really a waste of a perk, in my opinion. I used to do it in uh, Fallout 3 all the time because you got perks every level. So now it didn't really matter. But this one you get perk every two levels and you kinda need, you know, the other perks. So we're gonna be skipping that. And we're going to move to Grunt, maybe? Let me see. Uh, 9mm and 45, which we will be picking up soon, so we'll get in that for sure. Service rifles, assault. Assault and marksman carbines, light machine guns, grenade rifles, launchers, and combat knives. Hmm. I'm gonna say we'll go with the grunt mainly because of the boost of 45 caliber auto pistols and SMGs, because we will be picking those up very soon. And one of the best DLCs I have ever seen. A uh, scalpel. Uh, Medics, a piece of syringe, forceps. That's what we needed a lot more than anything else. And. No, oh, I can't make something out of that. Uh, first, I'm going to loot everything around here before I uh, delve into what this place used to be. Because there is some story behind it. There's quite a bit of story behind it. Ooh, more rounds for me. Uh, yep, take all of that. Oh, I thought that, uh, computer was on. Uh, anyway. From, when you look at the radiation suit and everything else that was here, as, like, supplies and whatnot, you can pretty much tell that this was a, a scientific operation to, uh, see what can be done, uh, to rats. To make them better, or I think. I th I'm not entirely sure. I remember bits about it. I, I only remember the Monty Python reference, if it is a Monty Python reference, and the fact that this weapon is here. That's about all I remember. But it was some scientific experiments on rodents to see what it could do to giant rat meat. Uh, I don't even know if that'd be cookable or not don't have a freaking thing near me but uh yeah it, all I remember is some specific things and that this weapon is boss if you get it in the early game you can repair it with varmint rifles and you're basically unstoppable at long distances because that scope is pretty good but you know it's really all up to interpretation if you're good at long range and able to snipe like that, then you're good. You're pretty much set. I'm only barely able to do it in this game. Because as you know from the last few episodes, I can barely aim when I want to. <laughs> and when I don't want to, I'm able to get the hits I want. So, you know, take that as you will. Now let's go up to the hobby. And we'll go head in the direction that I intended to before I got wrapped up in this. <laughs> uh, what I think I was going to do. Oh, wrong stick. Hmm. Oh yeah, I already did the booted quest, so I did all I set out to do. I'm going to go to Good Springs, though, to resupply and 
refix, you know, all the stuff I have. Because I kind of need to do that. Huh. The medicine skill determines the effectiveness of... Oops. I started talking way too late. Oop. Those things bopping around. And Good Springs General Store. Be sure to have some leather armor or something. And then we should be set. Hey, talk to me. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, a little bit. And, well, uh, we could always have an extra revolver. I already have all the upgrades for it. Take those rounds, because those are good. Take those rounds, they're good. Extended mags. I could have used those earlier for that <laughs> before I got rid of the pistol. And doctor's bag. Um, hmm, going to keep going down. Leather armor. There we go. Need that. Um, what else is there? Another purified water. I could pick up a shovel, but I don't need it. Uh,. Wonder glue. I don't need it that badly. Um, hmm. I could pick up a couple stim packs. And let's sell some of the stuff we don't need. Which is not that much. <laughs> uh, the submachine gun. I kind of don't really need that as much as I thought I did. Um, it doesn't really have that high of damage. But, if I pick up another submachine gun, it would be pretty boss. Nah, screw it. We're already over time for the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And, you know, share and comment so I can talk to you guys and we can bring more people into this community. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.